Hey guys, sorry here, and today I'm going to do a video on trowel sizes. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you this 11 inch Marshall Town I bought today. I'm going to go through a few reasons why I'm going to change to an 11 inch for a majority of my building work. So, first off, the 11 inch trowel is sort of the most common trowel that everyone owns. It's a sort of a medium size, you know, there's 13s and 12s out there. And also, you know, us picking dip guys doing using the 9s and 10s. Uh, so, when it comes to general building, you know, your ideal minimum size you want to be using on like the footings or block work around 11 inch. But there's been some common misconceptions when it comes to like wrist strain with big trowels and sort of how to mitigate those sort of things when it comes to doing a pick and dip style laying or even just traditional laying, corner building, you know, a lot of level work. Um, I'm going to be in the next few weeks. Um, I'm going to be sort of devoting myself to more traditional style of laying uh, but not in a sense of running in traditionally I'm in a sense of building more corners in a traditional style obviously by using a bigger trowel because the whole point of using a bigger trowel for laying brick, bricks is so you can pick up more mortar to lay onto the wall and then you've got to you know have less trips to the board and then keep your mortar from each brick that you press out for your next perp joint that's the whole point of having a big trowel for using traditional method which is really effective if you get really good at doing the traditional method really fast you can easily you know lay as many bricks as you can using pick and dip but it takes a lot more perfecting it takes uh, a lot more wrist movement a lot more hand movement but i'm going to go over some of the reasons why i'm going to start using um the 11 inch trowel First of all, in my recent videos reviewing the Magnuson level, I've been using more six foot levels, more corners, more freehand style of laying, uh, and I'm going to be incorporating more profiles into the freehand style. Um, I've got a new tool coming very soon that is going to really lend itself well to building corners, and this is the reason why I bought a bigger trowel. It's just to get more mortar spread onto the bricks, so a lot of the time you can pick up two bricks worth of mortar. Uh, with one trowel full at least easily and then you cannot you if you really power the gobble up you can get about three bricks out of an 11 inch and then when it comes to like a 12 inch you can get you know four bricks out of one uh you know blade full of mortar and then when you come to a 13 you can almost get five or six depending on how you even your spread and you know the the old saying when it goes to uh brick lane is you, you need to be able to spread for six bricks with one trowel mortar and it's just it's a bit of a myth because you know you can't always do that um but i've seen it done with some of the big trowels really you know some of the spec mix guys use massive spades like this this to me feels ginormous um but i'm going to go over a few things that you can help to strengthen your arms your forearms and your grip strength and some of the things i've been using ever since i started brick lane almost 11 years ago when i was in college so i'm going to go over it right now these, what I'm about to show you now, are called grippers. And these are the Captains of Crush variant with uh, different levels of strength. And they have a uh, metal knurling. So they're not your plastic sports grippers when, that you get from shops. You find these on Amazon, on the, uh, any sort of sports website to be honest. And I recommend if you're really having trouble with your wrists, or your, your arms and you haven't got enough strength in your arms or your wrists to use the trowel size you want to use uh, first of all use a smaller trowel and second of all start training your grip your grip's going to be a massive limiting factor especially a lot more girls and uh, a lot more girls getting into the trade you know it's no we're no longer in a time where it's just men who build houses you know women can be bricklayers anyone can be a bricklayer so I recommend if you're wanting to train your grip your forearms uh, and just have more strength in your hands in general is to get some grippers so I'm gonna go over a couple of uh, ex exercises I like to use the main thing we're trying to build with you know the grippers is static grip strength we're not trying to build crushing grip strength as such because the trowel is always going to be in his hands we're not trying to squeeze the trowel we're trying to keep hold of the trowel and have the strength in his hands in general there's a few you know there's a few movements you can do uh, i'm going to show a few right now like 
I'm going to use one of the lighter grippers I've got and do like a, a full close from your hand being completely open. So hand open, grip. And we just grip like that. Just do sets of, you know, three to 10 reps, depending on how, how much strength you've got. And a lot of the time when you buy grippers, you can very easily buy a gripper that's too strong. So I do the full open and closes. So full open to relax. And then when it comes to static grip strength, you can either get a stronger gripper like I've got here, and you can just help it close with your with your hand and set your palm into it and then squeeze and hold. And this will be something that will definitely help your static grip, grip strength and your trial hand. And the more reps you do, you'll build up more strength, more muscle in your forearms and your, and your grip in general. Because strength isn't measured by just the muscle size. Strength is, is the neural muscular strength and not just the size of your arm. So the size of your arm doesn't mean, just because you've got big arms doesn't mean you've got strong arms. So, going back to the trowel now, one thing that I always used to get was a wrist strain, putting the V's in the mortar, putting the grooves. You know, when you get to a college, you know, you put your spread down, cut the back off, cut the front off, do the V's, cut the back off, cut the front off, you know? And with a pick and dip style, you're not doing any of that. The long spread variant, I don't like to say variant, but anyway, in the long, on the long bed version, you're just picking the mortar up, laying it. Picking the mortar up, laying it. And with the big reason using the bigger trowels is you when you were doing traditional, you're trying to get as much more as scooped onto that trowel as possible to lay your big long spread. Whereas with a pick and dip style, you just either tapping the mortar out of the out of the board or slicing a section off and laying it. So you're not you're not constantly filling the trowel to its maximum capacity. So this is another thing that I'm going to be working on is using half the blade. So when it comes to picking the mortar up, one brick's worth of mortar would only be half that blade e easily. So you could easily pick, just slightly groove in, pick your brick and mortar up lay, and you've still got an effective trowel for doing other brick laying tasks. So you haven't got to constantly keep going to the board when you're building corners. Uh, you can easily switch between styles, depending if you get to the windows and you've got pillars and you've got a more intricate work. Obviously, I, in a lot of my videos, I build boundary walls that have a lot of pillars in them. So I've got to get used to, you know, more traditional style laying when I'm laying these pillars, because that's what I've always done. And I've got to use that traditional style when it comes to the pillars. So this will help just limit trips to the board when I come to corner building. Which it's nice having a lot, it's nice having a small trowel, but when you have the strength in your hands and your forearms and you're you're not you're minimizing the amount of grooves you're putting in, whether you're doing a flat spread variant or you're just spreading and pressing the brick down, putting no furrow in your spread on traditional, uh, having a bigger trowel can come in dead handy when you need that ability to pick more mortar up um, because just because you've got a big trowel doesn't mean you have to fill it every time you go to the board so this is one thing i wanted to talk about which you know i'm a big pick and dip guy you know i mean my channel revolves around pick and dip and you know i'm a big advocate you know i always do it but you can still do it with a bigger trowel and if you are a, a massive advocate of using a traditional style you can get your, your trial that you've always used traditional and just use it a different way. So that's my biggest, uh, this is the biggest upgrade that I'm going to make when it comes to the speed of the pick and dip and the versatility of general laying throughout the day. Because when you guys see me running into a line, it's only for like, you know, 15, 20 minutes of, you know, a clip. Me running into a line, the rest of the day it's me building corners, setting profiles up, intricate parts. You know, banding courses, pillars. You know, you know, whichever, whichever style of laying I'm doing. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a traditional style, whichever sort of builds I'm doing, other than when I'm running in. So, when it comes to running in with a bigger trowel and using pick and dip, I recommend going and watching a guy called uh, Brickwork Fundamentals. He's about a channel uh, a bit bigger than mine. I think he's got 800 subs or so, and uh, he uses the 11 inch trowel for doing the pick and dip. He's got some pretty sick head cam footage. Him going, you know, laying for two, spreading for like one and a half to two bricks with minimal effort. So we're not doing this thing that we tend to do with the smaller trowels, is picking loads of mortar up and spreading it. 
picking loads of motor up and spreading it because a lot of the time when you're using a nine or 10 inch or an eight inch, you're filling that trowel for every brick, you're filling it right up. So you, this is giving you more leeway. So you're not having to fill the trowel every time. You can just dip it in the mortar, boom, you've got a brick's worth. Or if you want to really get a bit of, get a nice chop, nice scoop, you know, you've got two bricks worth. You can pick and dip, do the two brick pick and dip, which I've made a video me doing. Um, I'm going to go into detail uh, more when I'm using this trowel. So this is the sort of content I'm trying to bring, obviously, is just me talking here with the tool, explaining some strategies and techniques, which um, they apply to everyone. Do you know where, whereas a certain build or a certain type of work, uh, you know, describing a strategy is only relevant for that certain build. So if you're building a garage and I'm telling you how to build it quicker, it's only relevant for that garage. Whereas these skills that I'm, that I'm you know, these techniques and these, you know, tips that I'm sharing with you now can be used if you're building footings, houses, you know, pikes on a house, retaining walls, whatever, whatever you're doing, garden walls, uh, you, when it, running gables in, on a house, which whatever sort of brickwork you're doing, the, these little these little changes in in the ways you build and the changes in the you know the methods and the working practices that you can just just vary just slight there's slight variations of stuff you've already always done, you know that you've learned at college and stuff like that. But it's just a more efficient way to use you know your trowel space and the trowel you've got, uh, other than. You know, small trowel for pick and dip, big trowel for traditional, big trowel for footing, small trowel for this, you know, you know, there's 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 an in-between that can be done really quick. So I'm gonna be working on trying to max out the speed of pick and dip using a bigger trowel. Uh, I, I believe some of the you know, Charlie Collinson, the biggest one of the biggest advocates on YouTube of the pick and dip, even said in passing in a in a odd few videos, even saying that you could probably lay more bricks. With a bigger trowel and i'm telling you right now anyone out there if they've any brick they're watching can you know if you're able to lay more bricks in a day even if that means using a bigger trowel than you want to do anyone's going to do it you know i'd do it so you know if you want to lay a you know might only be 50 might be 100 bricks extra a day you could lay by using a bigger blade you know maybe it's worth it for a time maybe you know rotate it use the Use the bigger blade for a couple of months, go back to the smaller blade and then, you know, you know, mix it up. But there's always a time and place to use a bigger trowel. So this is what this video is going to be sort of emphasizing. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be doing a toolbox review after this, a toolbox uh, video showing all the tools I've got. I've left a few on site, so I haven't got all of them with me, but I give the tools a quick rub off with my, uh, with my, with my brush. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. And I will see you in the next video.